your practice is a business, and with Next Health marketing campaigns, you can market it like one. And unlike other standard marketing systems, you also have the power of being integrated with your EHR. That means that when you're filtering your campaigns, you'll be able to select from your current patient list and include things like their most recent appointment, when they came in, and what their appointment type was. You'll also be able to integrate your online booking directly into campaigns, turning these pieces of marketing material directly into appointments and revenue for your practice. Let's do one together. To begin building your campaign, you're going to navigate to the Campaigns tab. This will take you to the Campaigns Hub, where you'll have a few different options to navigate. The All tab will show you all the campaigns that are currently available in your account, including those that have been sent, drafted, or scheduled. Optionally, you can use one of our campaign templates to give you a head start with a pre-designed campaign. If you'd like to build your own campaign, you can do so by selecting New. You'll then be presented with a list of all of the available locations in your account. Select the locations and click Next. That will take you to your filters page where you can select the patients you'd like to send the campaign to. If you'd like to send it to all patients, you can select that on the All Patients tab. Optionally, you can also exclude patients who have not completed an appointment. If you prefer to select a particular group of patients, you can use the Select Patients tab to apply some filters. You have a few different options for filters here, including the patient age range. If, for example, I wanted to send a back to school campaign, I could filter it just for patients who are within the age to be in school. You also have the option to filter by things like past appointments by selecting the date range that you would like to apply from. As well as the appointment types, the status of those appointments, the providers who completed them, and whether patients have upcoming appointments. Speaking of upcoming appointments, you can also filter based on point appointments in the future. These filters are much the same using that same date range filter, but this time your filter is going to go forward into the future. You can select by the appointment type again, as well as the status and the provider who's completing that appointment. Thirdly, you can choose based on patients who are currently due for continuing care. You can do this by the due date for that care, as well as by the procedure code that they're going to be due for. This is especially useful if you're going to include a specific booking link for that appointment type. After you've entered the appropriate filters, you'll then select Next. That will then show you the list of patients that your filters applied to. You have the option to remove patients manually from this list, as well as to add them. When you're ready, you'll click Save. That will bring you into your campaign editor, where you can now build a beautiful no-code campaign to promote the practice. The first thing you'll want to do when building your campaign is give it a name. The name of this campaign is going to be used internally to help you identify why you sent it. You'll then want to select whether you want to send an email, an SMS message, or both. To turn them on, you'll just switch that toggle from off to on. Then you'll start actually editing the campaign itself. On the email option, you'll set the campaign subject. We recommend something short and descriptive so patients will want to open your message. Then you'll start building out the content. Your content can be anything from simple text to things like images and even GIFs. As you're building the campaign, you'll simply use the editor just like you would a normal word editor to do things like remove spaces or add new text messages. If you prefer to access that source code to make more advanced HTML changes, you can do so using source. In addition to standard editing, you can also add things like smart commands into your campaign. Smart commands are going to populate information from your next help into the campaign itself to give them a bit more of a personal touch. For example, insert logo that you see up here at the top is a smart command that will, of course, insert your practice's logo. You can also do things like add the patient first name, information about your practice, or my favorite, appointment slots. 
Simply select the correct area in the campaign itself, then navigate to appointment slots. These can be used to add a one-click booking option for a particular appointment type. In this end of year, use it or lose it campaign, let's say I wanna have patients booking Kleenex. Now you'll see when we load our preview, the campaign is going to include an option for patients to book a cleaning with the next available provider. In addition to editing the email campaign, you can also edit the SMS messages. Keep in mind that these messages will be a little bit more limited just based on the nature of displaying a text message. You can edit this message using the blue editor that you see on the left side of the screen here to do things like change that text and of course, add your appointment slots. One thing you won't be able to do in the SMS messages is include images. However, you can include things like emojis using the emoji keystrokes. After you've edited your campaign, it's time to send. You have a few options here. If you'd like to send the campaign right in that moment, you can use the send option in the upper right corner. Or if you prefer to schedule the campaign to send in the future, you can use the schedule option in the right corner. You're going to choose when you want to schedule your campaign to send. In my case, I'm going to send it tomorrow. So you'll select the date, then the time. This is going to be displaying in your local time. So in the time zone where you're actually sending it to. You'll then click schedule. And when we navigate back to our campaigns, you'll now see that campaign has a gray clock icon to indicate that it's scheduled for some time in the future. If you've pre-scheduled a campaign and you don't want it to send, you can cancel that schedule by clicking into it and then selecting cancel send. That'll allow you to make edits to it and optionally reschedule it or send it in that moment. If you want to use one of the Next Health templates for campaigns or a campaign you've used previously, you can do so by navigating to the Favorites tab. Here, you'll be able to access all of your favorite campaigns. One of my favorites, and that I use the most often, is Office Closure. To resend this same campaign, you're just going to select Clone in the upper right corner and Create New Campaign. This will make a copy of that same content as well as the same filters you used before. If you'd like to change the filters on this campaign, select the patients in the upper left corner, then choose Back. This will give you access to your campaign again, so you can do things like schedule it for all of the upcoming appointments today because we have a weather event. Now you're ready to build simple and powerful marketing campaigns to market your practice and boost appointments. If you have any questions about that process, feel free to check our Help Center at help.nexthelp.com.